everybody. My name is Tarek Lewis and this is my industry analysis of the World Wrestling Entertainment Company. It is very important to understand the industry in which the WWE operates in because it is so unique. For that matter, we are going to specifically look at the unit of analysis, the key economic indicators, and the Porter's Five Force Analysis. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. Hello, and welcome to my industry analysis of the WWE. When doing an industry analysis, it is very important to understand the unit of analysis that you're looking at. For the WWE's case, we are looking at the industry. The WWE is its own breed. Many competitors try to copy their success, but none are successful. Every aspect of the WWE is unique to them, and they do it better than anyone else can. To understand the WWE's industry analysis better, it is beneficial for us to look at the key economic indicators. A list of the key economic indicators that I will look at is the market size, the degree of vertical integration, the number of companies in the industry, and the ultimate consumer's needs and wants. To start off with the market size, in 2014 over 100 million households had subscriptions to paid TV services. The WWE operates mainly in the TV service industry because of their two shows Smackdown and Raw. Next to look at the degree of vertical integration. Numerous retired WWE wrestlers have opened up wrestling academies throughout the world. This allows the WWE to pull fresh talent from these academies. This also allows the WWE to get talent without searching hard for it. The next thing we're going to look at is the number of companies in the industry. There are numerous other companies in the entertainment industry, such as the UFC, Lucha Underground, TNA, and any other sport that you can think of, such as the MLB, NBA, NFL, NHL, etc. To look at the ultimate consumer's needs and wants, the WWE needs to be more conscious of their fans' needs. Instead of doing what the McMahons think will be the most beneficial for the WWE, they need to start listening to their fans more. Ultimately, they need to listen to their fans because that's what brings in their money, and that's what keeps them going.